You know what? You know what? I gotta do a video about this one. Alright, let's do a video. Uh, yo, it's you! You're interested in the supernatural, right? <laughs> Lucky for you, I just finished editing my stream. It's all the proof you need. But before you watch it, I gotta ask you a question. Do you believe in ghosts? Um. Uh, yeah, I guess. I knew it! Curious cats like us usually have a better sixth sense. It's easier for us to perceive the unseen. Enough chit chat. Look. This is the weird stuff that happened yesterday when I was streaming in Fixtral Garden. What's up, guys? Little Gray here. We've come to the scariest, most haunted place in the Lofu, Fixtral Garden. Don't forget to like, follow, and share, or else I'm gonna check it out. They say there's been paranormal activity here. You're such a here. scaredy cat. You said you'd protect me. How do I stop something that's in the body? <laughs> I think I just saw something go wrong. And a group of flames suddenly grew super big. And then they floated right out to us and they were like, Aah! and, and Sushong was like, Eek! and then she fell over. Miss Sushong, can you get up? Aren't you getting cold? <laughs> Me and my bestie got kicked out of the garden straight after. But did you see the key moment? Ah, uh, fucking hate this. Ah, uh, that goes for sheep suffer. I don't even know. Uh, it's called editing. I edited it. That way I can show what happened before and after. Anyway, the key moment was... It wasn't the Realm Keeping Commission or the Cloud Knights that came to deal with it. It was the judges from the Ten Lords Commission. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, let's see. Got a chance for the... Mm, 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 it was crazy. That's what I'm saying! At first, Sushong didn't believe that Fixtral Garden was haunted. But after the judges showed up... In other words, something big must have happened in Fixtral Garden for them to show up. Um... Exactly! Now, do you believe that my content isn't clickbait? Actually, do you have some free time? Do you want to explore Fixtral Garden together? Just the two of us? I guarantee you we're gonna reveal the truth this time. Alright, let's go. <laughs> I knew it! This is what people like us live for! Let's go! Alright, let's start this shit. Alright, we're going over there. I Need your extractor you. cleaned or your star skiff serviced? <laughs> So dark in here. It feels like we're being watched. Did anyone ever tell you the scary stories about Fixtral Garden? Mm, I don't think so. Then allow me. As a streamer, I've done my fair share of research. Let me find my script. <clears throat> Wandering Fox. Spirits and ghostly tales. Fixtral Garden was originally a garden delve constructed by a Foxian craftmaster. It was a place for their kin to rest, write poems, and feast, etc., etc. It's said the elite pilots of the Foxians were almost wiped out in the denizens of Abundance War 30 years ago. People went to the Foxum tomb in Fixtral Garden to grieve for the departed. Because of this, Fixtral Garden rarely saw visitors and was bereft of joy. Over time, Fixtral
Astral Garden became full of flickering, ghostly flames, and weeping lamentations echoed through the air. The rumor that the garden was haunted spread like wildfire among Sienjo Lofu residents. Ooh, sounds like a hunting and could be all true. Uh, who wrote that for you? <laughs> I'll say this. Aw, man, is it that obvious? I paid Mr. Sien to write it up for me. Sounded a little too professional, huh? <laughs> I know it's easy to cast doubt, but the Ten Lords Commission actually showed up this time. Speaking of which, we have to avoid running into the judges. If we get kicked out, it'll all be for nothing. All right. Anyway, we'll get that's the out. background. Let's keep moving and watch your step. Alright. Oh, I saw the whale boat, so fuck over there. Okay, let me see. Inspection complete. Whoa! Feels pure evil. <laughs> Time to get some footage. Stream four. Gleam of old flames. Okay. I wonder if this thumbnail would be approved. Follow me. Keep quiet and tread lightly. Alright, hold on. Let me switch characters. Alright. Load around this area, hey, right? It looks like there's someone up ahead. Let's go around. Okay, how the fuck? Okay. Wait, wait, wait! Stop! There are ten Lords Commission spirit fairers on patrol. Let's go the other way. We'll head to the Foxum Tomb first, then cut through the Locky Fox Forest. Damn it, how am I supposed to go? Some malice in the air. Didn't see me. <sighs> Can't see me. Business. Arrest them immediately. Well, we're fine. Suspicious individuals in a restricted area are detained first and interrogated later. No exceptions. No dirty tricks. Restricted area? 
Since when were you in charge of Vixtral Guard? The mood is set. Let the show begin. Join the battle. Attack! Like fun till everything burns to ashes! It's on me. The dice have been bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. This is more than a battle. Set to the sea, so funny! Unworthy. All will be revealed in lunar flame. I will claim victory for my fight to live! Stay in step. A bang. Recalibrating the temple. Firefly has set to the seas of flame. Watch your head. Oh, no damage. Surrender. A bang. Dreams do come true. This is more fight. Okay. At ease, Wraith Warden. These two are not your enemies. Hey. Understood, Your Honor. And the green girl. Look how pale she is. And it seems like her eyes aren't even focusing. <gasps> is she a ghost? <laughs> as a member of the Ten Lords Commission, you may as well consider me a member of the dead. I am a judge, alias Hanya. Of the four duties of detention, incarceration, interrogation, and punishment, I am responsible for interrogation. Therefore, I know a thing or two about you. God, that she knows who we are. Gwenaifen, an outworlder unemployed. You entered Fixtral Garden with Sushang, a cloud knight, the day before yesterday. Mm hmm Unemployed? I'm a street performer and a streamer who reports on current events. A streamer. It's a legit operation. <laughs> As for this one here. Mm. Ah. <laughs> Should I say this? Nah. Passenger in the Astral Express and a guest of the seat of Divine Foresight. You assisted the Cloud Knights in resolving the Ambrosial Arbor Calamity and are a friend of the Alliance. Uh, hello. I'm a judge of the Ten Lords Commission. My name is Hua As a judge of the Ten Lords Commission, you should speak with more confidence, Hua Hua. Oh, okay. Tell me. Gwenaifun, why did you return here? Uh, no reason. I haven't posted anything for ages, so I wanted to film some ghosts for my videos. <laughs> <laughs> we have already told you that there are no ghosts in the Xianzhou. It is a ridiculous superstition. As a resident of the Xianzhou, you should refrain from believing or spreading rumors. Them. They had ghostly flames coming out of their body, and they were cackling. A and Sushong saw them too. Miss Gwenaifen, it's hard to explain, but those things aren't ghosts. Please don't bring legends from your home world onto the Xianzhou. The roaming entities you saw are extremely dangerous energy parasites. We call them Heliobite. Heliobite? Really? I don't believe it. Heliobi? What's that? <gasps> oh, I get it. Heliobi is just another word for ghost on the Sienjo, right? That's gotta be it. Nah, I don't think so. Maybe we should.
should let Mr. Tail out for a bit. Um, Mr. Tail? Wait, Mr. Tail? Oh, that person. I heard you, I heard you. Unbelievable. What am I, her pet? <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Mr. Tail? I'm a Helioplus. We're not ghosts. Got it? Now scram! <laughs> Oh, dang, this guy acting tough now. <laughs> Ghost! <sighs> what a strange girl. Here to film ghosts, yet terrified when she lays eyes on one. Deep breaths, little Gray. Deep breaths. <clears throat> Can I have a small chat with this Mr. Tail? I said, scram! I have no time to talk nonsense with you! Ah, what a rude ghost. <laughs> Let's go, he doesn't want to talk to us. <laughs> I told you I'm not a ghost! If I have to repeat myself again, I'll be eating every one of you! Yeah, <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Please, don't be afraid. He's only kidding. Mr. Tail is a vegetarian. <laughs> Your Honor, if I may ask, what exactly is this fire thing? How can we prevent it from hurting people? And why is a judge carrying one around with her? <laughs> I believe we're done here. We have important matters to attend to. Huahua, please see them off. Y yes ma'am. Sister, don't be angry. Most of your time is spent in the field. You're not accustomed to dealing with others. Leave this to me. If I explain the reasoning, they will leave. As things stand, the situation in Fixtral Garden is sure to keep drawing attention. If we forcibly dismiss these two today, their curiosity will remain. Who knows what might happen if they decide to come back. They might not be lucky enough to run into us next time. I said, sister, I will handle this. I assume the two of you heard about the damage done to the Artisanship Commission's creation furnace? The Heliobi sealed within escaped and have been haunting this place. The Ten Lords Commission has orders to capture them. I am strongly advising you to leave for your own safety. If you have any questions, raise them now. I will do my best to satisfy your curiosity. But I hope you will keep any information you hear in strict confidence, and then leave Fixtral Garden, never to return. That's... that's very reasonable, Your Honor. Thank you. I promise we'll leave after asking our questions. Alright. As a clerk at the Hall of Karma, my knowledge on these matters is somewhat limited, but I will try my best to satisfy your curiosity. Please proceed. <laughs> Okay, yeah, let's... What are the harbors? Harbors? Of... I'm saying that wrong. According to the Divination Commission's classification, they are energy parasites from the cosmos itself. They are starfire essence that materialize in the form of strange fire. Mm. Metaphorically speaking, they are like moths to a flame. But that flame is the thoughts of sentient beings. Yes. They attach themselves to sentient beings, feeding off their host's experiences and emotions. A heliobus will slowly take root in its host's nervous system, using their deepest desires and weaknesses to create wild delusions. They manipulate their host like a chess piece. The host has no choice but to obey the heliobus, so we refer to it as possession. By that point, the host is no longer who they once were, but a heliobus both similar to and completely different from their past self. The host's body will soon be exhausted by the heliobus, like burnt firewood. 
No, the tail is dangerous too. Dangerous? Oh, you don't know the half of it. The other Heliobi are nothing compared to me. Okay. Tail was subdued and sealed in my tail by Madame Hanya. He won't harm others. Regrettably, Heliobi are not flesh and blood, and so they are difficult to destroy. Before the restoration of the Creation Furnace, the Ten Lords Commission plans to set up an evil binding matrix in this abandoned garden to imprison these abominations. Hmm, okay. I don't have any other questions then. As you can see, the evil binding matrix has not yet been completed, and not all the escaped Heliobi have been recovered. This area is still very dangerous. I will ask Judge Huohua to escort you out of the garden. Not all the escaped Heliobi have been recovered. So that means the other supernatural stuff that's been happening on the Law Fu might be related? Your Honor, I have loads of info sources. Maybe I can help you. Unnecessary. Those not involved should leave now. Go. Um, excuse me. We should go. Aw. Huh? Guess we have to leave. Fixtral Garden is full of abnormalities. Even the Ten Lords Commission cannot guarantee your safety. I suggest you leave immediately. This place is dangerous. You should leave at once. Alright, still that to them. Ghosts? Heliobi? Possession? That was a big info dump. My brain is still loading. Oh, it all sounds more like an urban myth than a ghost story. Energy parasite sounds more cool than scary, don't you think? Uh, ghost can assist without mysteries. Prints are born to out of an Um, maybe this. Yeah, I guess so. I still feel like my audience will see them as ghosts, to be honest. Uh, I've got loads more questions, but my curiosity is satisfied for now. We better leave before the judges decide to arrest us. I'm gonna see if I can get a video of Mr. Tail on the way back. I've already got the title. Demonic fire suddenly appears in Fixtral Garden. Innocent Foxy and Girl possessed. What do you think? That gets so many views. Can you give me a hand? Um, I feel like that's a lot. Uh, yeah. Mmm, true. But I'd probably only do a few decades. <laughs> Let's go. Is the tail coming too? Yes, he's trapped in my tail, so... <laughs> trapped? For now? Sooner or later I'll find a way to make you break the seal! You think I like spending time with you? <laughs> Shall we go? Let's go! Yeah, we're getting the freak out of here. Oh, Let's okay. go this way. It's quicker. Miss Puahua, can we have Mr. Tail come out for a photo? Miss Oinifen, I'm on official duty right now. It's so quiet. It's getting scarier and scarier. Please stay close to me. Did you hear that? Where? Ah! What's happening? Uh, don't be scared. Uh, uh, look at this. Uh, I'm not scared. I just can't stop my legs shaking. Wait a minute. 
Where did Miss Gwen Ifen go? Miss Gwen Ifen! Ah, uh, she disappeared. Did we lose her? She was literally just right there. Where'd she go? Oh no! We have to find Miss Gwen Ifen! You should consider your own safety first! Is it me or is this place starting to feel weirder and weirder? Oh, I'm scared. Can you stay close to me? I don't want to lose you too. Alright, um... Uh oh, okay. What the freak? They got scary. Okay. Are we really going the right way? Okay. Gwenyphon? Where are you? Hwa stay close. Uh, she's gone too now? Hwa oh, No. Where did she go? Yeah. Oh, shit. We got trapped. Alright. Where the fuck are you people Is at? This a mirror? It looks a little creepy. It does. Huh? Hmm. Hi. Hmm. Uh oh. Where am I? Is this fixed wall garden? But it looks different somehow. I should keep moving. Oh uh, yeah, I'm with the bat now. Alright, where the fuck am I? Am I going in circle? What's going on? I looped back again? I need to look closely around this place again. Maybe I can break out of the cycle. It's gonna be for two hours. Isn't this where I started? I need to look closely around this place again. Maybe I can break out of the cycle. Here a moment ago? I need to look closely around this place again. Maybe I can break out of the cycle. No, we can't. <laughs> What's going on? I looped back again? I need to look closely around this place again. Maybe I can break out of the cycle. but puzzles in this place. Okay. Come, lost one. Do you desire to leave? <laughs> Come and find me. Hmm. You have a strange sense on you. You must be. Okay, who are you? I have heard the whispers of the leaves that fall in Fixtral Garden. Flames weep and profess to me that a powerful mortal approaches. They carry the scent of a great battle with none other than Fantilia. You, you are the one who drove Fantilia away. <sighs> what power! Your presence alone is delicious enough to make one tremble. 
Are you gonna eat me? Let me taste you, please. One bite, just one bite. I can't wait to savor you. Oh, heck no. I ain't gonna be eating today. These are no ordinary ingenia. <laughs> of course not. They are mere pawns dancing to my whim. <laughs> Them. Smash them to pieces. <laughs> what a peppery fighting spirit! Such an addictive flavor! <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> Let me see. The one who defeated Fantilia. I wonder what they taste like. <laughs> Well, you're fighting for your survival after all. I'll take that as my invitation to inhabit you for a while. What the heck are you? Okay, who are you? What do you want? Oh, my delicious host. You taste so special. Different from anyone else I've ever possessed. But what is this at your core? Son? It burns! You can call me Cirrus. Ask for what I want. Rest assured, I only want to leave this place. I have no desire to harm you. Allow me to explain what's happening. The Sienjo natives call it a ghost lock. You're walking in a circle, and no amount of walking will get you out of it. So, I'm going to help you break free of the circle that Furinox created. And you're going to help me evade the judges of the Ten Lords Commission. <laughs> it's a win-win. How does that sound? Okay. Uh, oh, I don't even know what to say. Uh. You must have figured out that I'm not the master of this place. It was created by another Heliobus named Furinox. Unfortunately, I'm the only one who can help you escape from here. Okay, how can you do that? <laughs> you mean the talismans left behind by little lost fox judge? Those won't help you. <laughs> now that I'm possessing you, I can make you see things that you couldn't see before. Okay, fine. I guess, yeah. I'm glad we understand each other. As a courtesy, I shall leave you intact for the time being. As soon as I get what I want, I'll be gone. Now, go and look at those talismans again. The paper dolls. You'll know where to go. <laughs> go! Find all those clues your judge friend left behind. Find the talismans. You can trust me. I want to leave this place, too. We are useful to each other. In any case, it doesn't matter if you don't trust me. It's not hey, use your eyes. I made the talismans float. Pay attention. Well, shoot. Do you understand? This story of the supernatural is in the illusory maze for a reason. It contains the clue to help us get out of here. Come back and read it again if you need to. Okay. The door will not open without the proper courtesies. Return from where you came, visitors.
The door will not open. Do I need to do it in Ward? <laughs> the door will not open. Okay. Is that to break them all? Is that courtesy? It seems like we're ready. Oh, okay. Now we just have to get out. I'd help you. The way out is straight ahead. Just keep going. Stop. Do you remember our deal? You need to help me evade capture. There's a judge up ahead. Are you are you scared of? Yeah, are you scared? I'm getting her out here too. Ugh. Is this what humans call sympathy? How acerbic. Forget about the judge. Just get us both out of here. <gasps> it's you! I, I finally found another living soul! I'm so happy! I thought I was gonna be stuck here forever! I'm so happy to see you! Um, have you seen Miss Gwynaifen? I still haven't found her. Is she gonna be okay? Uh, yeah, we should probably go find her to see. Give it up. Gwynaifen was probably eaten by the Helio by already. Oh, what? You wanna fuck her? How can that be? If that could happen to someone as lively as Miss Gwynaifen, that means I'm in even more danger. <laughs> Do you really just say that? Yeah. <laughs> Did you know that the larynx is the easiest muscle to control in the human body? <gasps> you can find the way out, right? Please take me with you. Uh, not this again! You're a judge of the Ten Lords Commission. Why are you always begging others for help? You know I'm not cut out to be a judge. I thought maybe if I worked long enough in the Ten Lords Commission, I'd get braver. But now, I know it's impossible. <laughs> Useless brat. Why was I sealed in with someone like you? You talk tough all day long, then let both of us get stuck in a trap! Who's the useless brat now? <laughs> Alright, calm down. I'll get you guys out. Yeah. There's no point in following me. 
I'm leaving, and you are not coming with me. Goodbye. What? You bitch. Oh, but you did. And can you swear that you don't want to leave her behind? Not even a little. The Ten Lords Commission needs to overhaul their hiring criteria. How did someone as useless as you ever become a judge? Well, you bitch. <laughs> oh, now you made her cry, you dumb fuck. Hey, cut it out! I'm the only one around here who gets to tell this kid off. Me and those other judges. Got that? Wait. Hold on. I smell something familiar. Serious. It's you. Still a fan of your pathetic ventriloquist act, I see. Ah, oh, he figures. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is funny. This is just too funny. I thought you'd already escaped the furnace's destiny of torture. Who would have thought that a piece of Ignamar the Great, the fragment with the most fight in it, would become a guard dog sealed inside a crybaby? Oh, forgive me. Did I say guard dog? No, 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 no. That won't do. You're just a guard dog's tail, right? Just a tail. A tail. A tail! Laugh while you can, coward! I'm gonna swallow you whole the second you leave that girl's body! <laughs> Terrifying! <laughs> the joke's on you! You couldn't leave that judge's body if you tried! You can't eat her, let alone escape from her! <laughs> Mr. Tail! You're pathetic! Darn it! Have to think of something, you wimp! Miss Trailblazer, take this talisman and stick it to your body. It'll temporarily suppress the Heliobuzz's influence. Oh, heck yeah, give me that shit. <laughs> hey, girl! Say something nice to Wahua. Her crying is like a mosquito in my ear. <laughs> well, I'll talk to you later. Ceres talks nothing but nonsense. But even so, Hwahwa has a sensitive heart. You, go say something nice to the girl. Aren't you looking down at her all the time, though? <laughs> yeah. Yes, which is why she needs other organic beings like you to support her. Get it? Go! <laughs> Roam free? Is that what you call this? This is as far as I can get from her. You think I'd be here playing house with you numbskulls if I could fly away? <laughs> Oh man, I, oh no. Fuck it, I need to skip that part. Oh, they let me not talk to her. Alright, good, okay. Alright. Oh, what a feast! Human emotions are simply delicious! Your sorrowful tears are like bottles of potent wine. Dang, don't you ever talk through me like that again, yeah. <laughs> I'm simply enjoying my freedom. Didn't you use the talisman already? I'm tame as a kitten. Now, don't forget about our deal. I will leave only once I've got what I wanted. Say, aren't you still FSing me? Of course. Surely you don't think I've left you just because you can see me. <laughs> so naive. All right, we'll talk to the girl again. <laughs> I'm sorry, Aikun, are you okay? It's not your fault. It was that bad Heliobus making us fight. <laughs> yeah, 
Sorry about that. Someone as nice as you wouldn't say such mean things. Only a possession would make you act like that. Still, what the Heliobus said was true. I've always been shy and scared. My life's been a nightmare ever since Tail possessed me. When I was at school, people were always asking why my tail was on fire. Everywhere I went, people would notice. Oh, so it's all my fault. If you'd just let me devour you at the start, I could have spared you the trouble. My guy, why did we let you devour, devour her? Yeah. Why she let you do that? Then I got into the Ten Lords Commission. Everyone there is weird, so I thought I'd found somewhere I belong. But the job... The job is too dangerous! I have to fight demons and ghosts and bad guys every day! I... I'm just not cut out for it. If I make it back alive, I'm handing in my resignation. <laughs> Who thought making a heliophobe with a heliobus in her tail hunt heliobi was a good idea? I'm sorry. I've been so useless. Yeah, you've been doing very well. Yeah, you're just doing your job. Really? Yeah. You hear that? Stop crying. You're useful. And your paper dolls are useful too. <sighs> I've had enough of this. As soon as I swallow that coward Cirrus, I'm gonna devour this little crybaby, too! What a pity that Mr. Tail is nothing like he used to be. If we still had our old power, we could forget about this maze and devour its creator, Furinox. Your old power? Well, Mr. Tail, seems she knows nothing about your past. Little Missy, do you know why the Heliobi are gathered in this abandoned garden instead of seizing human habitations? Uh, team building? <laughs> because over a thousand years ago, this very garden was the site of an epic battle between the General of the Lafu and the great Heliobus Ignamar. Now that the furnace is broken and the Heliobi have escaped, fragments like us, who once constituted Ignamar the Whole, have returned here with a desire to challenge the General again. The battle between the General and Ignamar was an earth-shaking contest of devastating proportions. Ignamar underwent countless transformations, causing floods, fires, and thunderous landslides. They were locked in a standoff. An evenly matched fight. Evenly matched? Really? Okay, evenly matched? Really? Of course. The Ten Lords Commission records say that Ignamar was soundly defeated by General Teng Xiao. <laughs> of course the human records would flatter their general. The great Ignamar absorbed the power of countless fellow Heliobi, but ultimately underestimated human deceit. They were narrowly defeated by the general. Yeah. We Heliobi could never condense into physical form after that battle. We scattered into fragments and were sealed into the creation furnace. But there's an exception to everything. Mr. Tail, I thought you'd escaped to freedom. Who could have guessed you'd be sealed in this tiny Foxian girl? <laughs> Humiliating. <laughs> sealed my foot? My power was weak when I ran into this Fox child. It was bad luck. Nothing more. When I was littler, I saw a ball of fire that looked like it was about to turn to embers. Ah, uh, that's where you guys first met. So I picked it up and put it on my tail. And then... Mr. Tail tried to eat me! If the judges hadn't arrived, it would have been over! I did no such thing! You're barely big enough to be an appetizer! All the pain I've suffered since I met you must be retribution for my stupidity back then! It's a pity 
Mr. Tail didn't devour you, he might have recovered his power and turned the Sienjo upside down, just like Ignamar did. Why did announcement? Wait, well, why did it challenge the uh, general? Why? Does there have to be a reason? The official answer is that the Sienjo is sealing Heliobi in a cage and forcing them to supply energy to the ship. In reality, however, we just want to fight the general and see what the Sienjo is truly made of. <sighs> we Heliobi were carefree life forms, but were tainted with the illness of humanity once we came into contact with it. It's humanity's fault for having such intense emotions and desires. Now we can never, never return to the purity of our past. <sighs> I want to be free again. I want to return to the cosmos. Mr. Tail, you don't want to regroup with the fragments? You don't want to be her tail forever? Why don't you return with me to the great beyond? <laughs> don't get ahead of yourself, Shearus. That's impossible. Mr. Tail was sealed by the judges of the Ten Lords Commission. He can't escape, and neither can you. Uh, that door just opened on its own! Less screaming, more thinking. This is an opportunity, is it not? Let's go in and check it out. Alright, what's this for? Is this the same thing before? I feel much safer with you here. Still feel like I'm gonna faint, though. May the Arbiter protect us! Is that all? Great. The more, the better. Looks good. Great. The more, the better. Great. The more, the better. I want to see what this is about. Looks good. Great. The more, the better. I might get it wrong, though. The door will not open without the proper courtesies. Return from where you came. Okay. <laughs> Try new, I just want to see. Blah, blah, blah. the better. The door will not open without the problem. Okay. Um. Great. The more the better. Great. The more the better. Great. The more, the better. The door will not open without... Poor guy, I did, did it wrong. Can I see that again? Mm-hmm. 
Oh, the one from before. Didn't I see a similar mirror when I was dragged in? Mm-hmm. That sound. What? Well, this way. What's going on? There's a voice in the mirror? That voice sounds familiar. Wawa, are you in the mirror? I finally found you. Madam Shuei? Fixtral Garden has been enveloped by an unknown power. You must be careful. We still haven't found Miss Gwenyfin. I don't know where she went. The task at hand is to save you from this illusion. Come, pass through the mirror and come to our side. All right. <sighs> Are we up a fixtral garden? Hmm. So many bronze mirrors. Could it be that? Uh, not all mirrors are real. Not an illusion or something. <laughs> You're right, girl. This place is changing. It's trying to stop us from escaping. But one of these mirrors must contain the exit, right? Let's check them all. All right, let me see. How can we prove? This is the exit, you useless brat! Come here! Uh, Madam Shui can be a bit of a meanie, but she never talked to me like that. That doesn't sound like her. Come to think of it, it kind of sounds like Tail. Constructive criticism! Ha. Let's go look at the other mirrors. Alright. Wahua, sweetie. Come to Big Sister Shuai. <laughs> Yuck! That judge would never say something so sickly. <laughs> Let's go and look at the next mirror. Okay, um. I think this is it. The situation in Vixtral Garden is getting worse. Why have you not left? Is something the matter in there? Over here! That sounds like the real Madame Shuai. The real Madame Shuai? Are there pretenders inside the illusion? Yeah. Let's see. Do not be afraid. Hua Hua knows me well. She will be able to discern me from the counterfeits. Uh, but what if I can't tell the difference? You must trust yourself. Come. Okay. A little different. Hurry, Hua Hua. Pass through the mirror and come to me. Wait. I want to ask a few questions to see if you're the real person. Um. Who is Hanya? Uh, never mind. Forget I said anything. Likely, through some secret means that I am unaware of. I, I didn't have any connections at all. So, we're gonna... Yeah. Hurry, Huahua. Pass through the mirror and come to me. Wait. I want to ask a few questions to see if you're the real person. Anya is my younger sister. But this alone cannot prove who I am. Ask me something else. By decree of the Ten Lords, Spirit Fair Huahua is skilled and diligent, capable and worthy of officialdom. She is hereby promoted to the position of judge. I still remember the decree for her promotion. That's her! This has to be Madame Shuei behind the mirror. So we're gonna... All right, let's do it. <sighs> Mirrors again! What a surprise! Look around us, Mr. Tail. I think we're at the edge of the illusion. Maybe these are the only mirrors left? Alright, let me see. Hurry, Huahua. This should be the last mirror. I... I need to ask you some questions about myself first. She will be expelled after tonight's operation. She is not fit for her job at the Ten Lords Commission. Really? So I don't even need to write a resignation letter? Stupid girl! This is obviously a trick! 
An insignificant demon. I can't wait to devour it myself. Aha! Not even trying to hide your true colors. So, we're gonna... Fuck that. Come here, Woha. Come through the mirror. I... I need to ask you some questions about myself first. Her caution is a skill all judges of the Ten Lords Commission should possess. <laughs> That's a funny way of describing cowardice. No. It's the most powerful fragment of Ignamar's demise. Who would have guessed it still contains so much power after so many years? <laughs> You've given the game away! So, we're gonna... Let me see. Come here, Wawa. Come through the mirror. I... I need to ask you... As a judge responsible for capturing criminals, her cowardice is a dereliction of duty. I will reprimand her severely once you leave the illusion. Huh? That doesn't sound like Madame Shui. Stupid girl! This is obviously a fake! Her tale will be extracted and suppressed after the job is over. <laughs> you fraud. I'll deal with you once I get out. So, we're gonna... I'm not the best judge of things, but these mirrors... <sighs> not a single one is the real thing! Oh, really? Okay. None of them show Madame Shuehi as I know her to be. That puppet judge never respected me. But she also never let her guard down. I've spent a long time working with Madame Shuehi. She's always known that I'm scared and timid, but she never told me off. <laughs> the Ten Lords Commission never cared a wink about your frail constitution. You're the only one who makes a big deal about it. And as long as you don't drag me down, I don't really care how much of a coward you are either. Aw, Tail! Have me nice now. Hey, hey, hey! Get away from me! <laughs> Uh, your judgment was pretty accurate. You two get along pretty well. Yeah. What do you know? <laughs> and what are we even talking about? We need to focus! The illusion wants to keep us in, but it can't possibly keep expanding its borders forever. I think there's gotta be a fourth mirror somewhere. Uh, I think there's a mirror on that floating island. Oh, it's shoot. It's a bit far away. Ooh. Oh, could I crawl my way there? <laughs> Quit stalling and get on with it! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I didn't think you'd be able to! <laughs> All these years and you finally started to grow up a bit! Hurry, Wawa. This should be the last mirror. I don't want to go back the way we came. But I need to ask some questions about myself to make sure. Right. Everyone is different. A judge is not a soldier, and they need more than just courage. It is the decree of the Ten Lords for Hua Hua to be elevated to a judge. There must be some meaning in it. Just what do those old fogies see in this coward? <gasps> Let's go! This is the right mirror! Right. Fixtral Garden? Seems like it. You have returned safely. It seems the Ten Lords Commission is not down on our luck today. Madam Shuei, I'm so happy to see you're all right! Did you encounter anything strange on your way here? <laughs> no wonder she's a judge. Very perceptive. I understand. This isn't the time to deal with Cirrus. Fixtral Garden has been dragged into a powerful illusion by an even mightier Helio West, and the spirit fairs who went to suppress it have lost contact with me. Huahua, if both Hanya and I are unable to suppress that demon, then you will have to defeat it. Huh? I won't be able to do it! I'm not as powerful as you two! I always run and hide before a battle! Do not underestimate yourself. A Heliobus cannot possess a body that is already possessed by another Heliobus. Such is your absolute advantage as a judge. 
I'm a pest too. Do I also get a, a Vance too? Yeah. Correct. However, Huahu has had many more years of training and is more experienced in fighting Heliobi than you. That is why the Ten Lords Commission is not down on our luck today. We're lucky that you have all returned at this opportune time. You hear that, scary cat? You're the ace of the Ten Lords Commission! The Heliobi are aggressive beings, but they cannot shake their desire for a flesh and blood body. And yet, during the 38 years you have worked with the Ten Lords, you have been constantly able to suppress the monster within your tail and maintain your personality. You, on that point, none of the other judges can surpass you. Suppress the monster? Oh, but I don't think I've ever had to suppress tail. I guess we're more like friends? Friends? Bah! I don't make friends with food. <laughs> Mr. Tail, puny fragments like us were deprived of Ignamar's power long ago. If a little girl can subdue us, then perhaps it's time for some humility. Shut your trap! Though Fury Nox is powerful, we have a chance of suppressing them if we can break them into multiple fragments. You have a sound plan, Your Honor. And since the stage is set, allow me to offer my assistance. Let's find somewhere more open first. Like Swallow Sun Pavilion over there. Oh, uh, I guess. Let's go. Oh, shoot, hold on. Oh, fuck. Let me see, um... <laughs> so it's you. Our time spent with one another is precious. Alright, we'll do this. You've heard the story of Ignamar and the great Heliobus' glorious fight against the General. They were an entity born of many Heliobi fusing together. But Heliobi are gradually tainted by the emotions and desires of those we possess. We tend to spite each other and don't like to fuse together. It's like having multiple personalities inside a single head. It leads to infighting. A powerful Heliobus like Ignamar or Furinox might be able to swallow a lesser Heliobus and placate them for a while. But this internal balance is easily broken when exposed to external forces. Just like how we were torn apart and reborn after Ignamar fought the general. Therefore, this might be the way to defeat Furinox. It can cause them to break apart and reduce their power. Then, the Ten Lords Commission can use their sacred vessels to seal up all of Fury Nox's fragments. I have a question. Why are you betraying your own kin? Why would you help the Tian Zhou when we have sealed you for so long? <laughs> Why? Must Heliobi always have a reason for their behavior? Perhaps I don't want Fury Nox to devour me. Perhaps I dislike idiots who use force and nothing else. Perhaps I wish to fight the General myself. Or maybe I just want to do a favor for the Ten Lords Commission that will ensure I can leave here in one piece. Uh, I really don't believe you. Judges of the Ten Lords Commission always keep our promises. If you can truly deal with the problem at hand, I will ask for your freedom from the Ten Lords. However, I cannot guarantee the outcome of the appeal. <sighs> How conventional. Fine, I accept. But you better keep your promise, puppet. <laughs> Me and Furinox were furnace mates. I know them well. They're powerful, but as naive as a child and obsessed with victory. I only need to say three things to incite them. Hey, I'll need your body for a while longer. Alright. Knox. Before you duel the general, why don't you fight me? 
serious? What makes you worth my time, weakling? Ooh. I've turned this garden into my territory and made the dogs of the Ten Lords my puppets. As soon as the General arrives, the Heliobi will have a rematch. Why should I fight my own at this crucial moment? That group of amateurs you've put together? <laughs> they are nothing compared to me. I have already obtained the most wonderful pawn for myself. A piece that once expelled Fantilia. Fantilia? Fantilia! I remember. What a wonderful host. I want it. Then send the spirit fairers under your control to find me. If you can defeat this nameless I'm possessing, then you can swallow me up and let my strength aid you in your fight against the general. What do you say? Deal. My pawns and I will show you no mercy. See? Easy peasy. <laughs> Does that mean all the spirit bearers out there have fallen? <laughs> what a useless army. <sighs> be fighting our friends? <sighs> oh, do puppets feel empathy? Or do you not wish to defeat Furinox anymore? We Heliobite think of such matters as business transactions. As long as something can bring us victory, we will destroy everything. Even allies and kin. Make the decision. Furinox's pawns, your companions, must be destroyed. <sighs> Please come over here. I need to give you something. What is it? What are you gonna give me? You two, take this before we fight Fury Nox. This is the Lunambra Cord, a sacred vessel made by the Artisanship Commission. The Ten Lords Commission has made some changes to it to better suppress the Heliobi. After you fight the puppets controlled by Fury Nox, make sure you seal their Heliobi fragments in here. Also, I'll look after her, yeah. Her time as a judge has been brief. She is still inexperienced. Apart from that, please also have mercy on the spirit fairs that have fallen under Fury Nox's control. <gasps> Mr. Tail, we're gonna fight some really dangerous enemies now. Please lend me your strength too. Ho <laughs> ho! Sounds like someone finally learned to talk tough. I would have believed you if your legs weren't shaking so much. It took me a lot of effort to be this brave. All this time I've just been hiding behind Miss Trailblazer. I'm such a bad judge. <sighs> Madam Shui said those possessed by a Heliobus can't get possessed again. I'm the only person who can help everyone. Exactly! You're welcome, by the way. So, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Huahua, though I am of Ingenium body, I, too, am feeling a sliver of fear. Madam Shui, you're afraid, too? Faced with a demon that can manipulate life at will, of course I'm afraid. Afraid that I won't ever work with my sister again. Hmm. Uh, I'll we'll say this. Let's go. I will find my own way to defeat the pawns possessed by Fury Nox. And before that foolish Heliobus has realized what's happening, I will suppress all of their fragments within the Lunambra Gourd. So we'll need to activate the Evil Binding Matrix, right? Once my task is done, I will meet you at the Verdantia Terrace and activate the Evil Binding Matrix at its Matrix core. Okay. All right, well, I'm going down somewhere. so powerful, why would they allow themselves to break apart so easily? The stronger you are, the more you underestimate your enemies. Sometimes being weak and humble is the way to survive. Around, are we? Those are... Don't expect me to hold back. Uh oh, we just seal it. <laughs> Fury Nox have been sealed in the gourd. Thank the Arbiter. 
Now they even attack. Alright. Alright, we'll slice this bitch. Strength. in the gourd now. Let's go and meet up with Madame Shuei. Oh, they're over there. And the other girl, too. It's Madame Shuei! And Miss Buenaifen! Thank goodness she's alright! Oh, damn it! Trailblazer! Guapa! I'm so glad you're okay! I have defeated all the spirit bears controlled by Fury Nox. It was quite troublesome taking them down without doing any harm. How goes your task? We're doing well. We've sealed most of Fury Nox's fragments. Now, we shall seal the fragments absorbed by the Lunombra Gourd into the evil binding matrix. Once Fury Nox's power has been stripped, we will no longer be able to influence reality in Fixtral Garden. This gourd is so pretty! Is this what they call a sacred vessel on the Sienjo? Uh, Miss Queen Ivan, please be careful. You might feel dizzy if you get too close to the Matrix. It's okay, it's okay. This is my first time seeing the Ten Lords Commission's exercising tools up close. Uh -oh. Get her away from here! Oh. Wait, was she possessed? Oh no! Sirius. It's Sirius. You won. You won. Don't leave us. Help us. Take us. To restore Ignamar's glory together. Ah, <laughs> oh, you bitch. Your honors for helping me clear so many obstacles and collect so many Heliobus fragments. I told you I'd leave your body, little pawn. Oh, you bitch. Oh, you're gonna die. Excellent. <laughs> I will keep my promise. Let the show begin! No dirty tricks, Lord. I can't do this! Forward! Don't worry. Stay it's in just set. a scream. Let's improvise. <laughs> it's on me. Just <laughs> for oblivion. <laughs> Watch your head. Dice have been cast. Bust? Or maybe I'll take it off! Again? Still the same time to suffer. All in. No dirty tricks, alright? Uh oh. This demon is quite troublesome. Consumed too many Heliobi. We die from exhaustion before we manage to weaken it. We've still got a chance, puppet. Wait, wait, how? 
Cirrus said it themselves. There's a fragile balance when Heliobi fuse together. You know what to do, don't you, Wawa? Uh, but... But what? Aren't you gonna be living the life you've always wanted once I'm gone? are no fun. Why don't you join in too, huh? Uh-oh. I struggle being my subject! <laughs> you can't win. You just cheat! <laughs> Get yourself together! I just won't die! We can't eat them! They're not so fast! You got me, haven't you? They told me about this. It's gonna take a while, though. Free will or destiny for oblivion. The dice have been kept bust. Or maybe I'll take it all. Watch your head. Dreams do come true. No water for the oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. To suffer. Still the same old. Dirty to the dice have been cast. Bust? Or maybe I'll take it all! Oh. 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 I won't let Mr. Tail sacrifice himself in vain! Suppress. Oh, catch up! Watch your head! Component damage. <laughs> Dice have been cast. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it all. Component damage. Destined uh, for oblivion. Do it, Ray. Tell it me. But my command! Take it step. <laughs> Unscape. Uh, we will come. Uh, Subdue. Uh, oh, come on. Uh, Still waters of oblivion. Uh, Begin. Take your positions. <laughs> Engage. <laughs> By the ten more. Time to suffer. Surrender. <laughs> the dice have been cast. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it all. <laughs> Another journey begins. 
destined for oblivion. I, I won't let Mr. Tail sacrifice himself in vain! Or maybe I'll take it off. Watch your head. Stay in step. The mood is set. Let the show begin. Ah. Uh -huh. Again. Set press. How familiar. No dirty tricks. Let's end the battle. Another journey begins on the still waters of oblivion. Caught in the web. Subdue. The dice have been bust. Come on. Or maybe I'll take it off. Sure, I'll play along. Spend freely. Time to suffer. I weep for the departed. Maybe I'll take it off. Watch your head. Suppress. <laughs> Destined for oblivion. <laughs> Dreams do come true. A mere prop. Or maybe I'll take it off. Component damage. <laughs> On the still waters of oblivion. <laughs> By the ten more. The mood is set. Let the show begin. Surrender. I, I won't let Mr. Tail sacrifice himself in vain. Come on! Sure, I'm gonna die at this point. Just time for oblivion. The dice have been cast. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. I weep for the departed. Come on, you bitch! Hurry up! Let's improvise. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm still waters of oblivion. <laughs> How familiar. The mood is set. Let the show begin. Caught in the web. <gasps> By the ten more. <laughs> Head your bets. Spend freely. I, I won't let Mr. Tail sacrifice Bust. himself in vain! Or maybe I'll take it off! Watch your head! Component damage. Surrender! Stay in step! <laughs> Unscathed. Time to suffer! No dirty tricks, Suppress. <laughs> Destined for oblivion. Do it, Raze. The mood is set. Let the show begin! No dirty trick. Oh, yeah. The dice Come on, you bitch. Well, was there. Or maybe I'll Kill this motherfucker. Come on! Let's improvise. 
All right, damn. Over. Thank God. Yeah, you die, bitch. I wonder how Hua Hua is doing. I should check up on her. Yeah. to sacrifice himself. It was because of him that I ended up in this terrible job. And I've thought so much about how much better my life would be if I never met him. But now that he's actually gone, I feel so empty inside. I really am useless. I've been looking forward to this day for so long. But now that it's here, I... I don't feel happy at all! Ah, uh, should I say this? I don't know. He's free now. Wait, you're right. Madam Shui said that Helio by our eternal flames that will never burn away. Mr. Tail, he... He must still be out there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, Miss Trailblazer. I'm okay. I need to pull myself together and finish the job. Oh, the Ten Lords Commission contacted Miss Gwenaifen's friend, Miss Sushang. I can't leave my post, so, uh, could you let Miss Sushang know what happened? She'll be relieved. Alright. The one possessing Huahua seems to have disappeared. I don't know if I should be happy or sad for her. Never mind. I've never been good at figuring out emotions. Thank you for your assistance, Nameless. Reinforcements from the Ten Lords Commission will be here soon, and Gwenaifen will be sent to an apothecary. Alright, your body seems to be so... Uh, yeah. It is only an artificial Ingenium body. I can swap into another one easily. Do not worry. Hanya returned to the Ten Lords Commission after you left. She is coming with the reinforcements as we speak. No, the demon lives on. They even possessed a young spirit fair under my command. As Starfire Essences, the Heliobi will never die. The records in the Ten Lords Commission's evil binding tomes were all real. Cirrus lost most of their power and poses no danger for the time being. But they will remain a threat for as long as they exist. Thankfully, the Ten Lords Commission had prepared other sacred vessels to suppress the Heliobi. We will construct a matrix all over this abandoned garden and seal the Heliobi within. The Xianzhou will live to see another day. We can leave the rest to the Ten Lords Commission from here. Even I feel like I need a rest. Alright. I see. Even this little kid. You wretched fools! Tail! The judges! You! One day! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> one day sooner or later, I'll tear you all to pieces! I'll crunch your bones to dust, sap every drop of your strength, and spit you out into the dirt where you belong! <laughs> I'll say this. There are many, little pawn. I will exist forever. I have lived for countless years. I existed before the Alliance was even an idea. And once the Alliance has turned to dust, I 
will continue to exist for countless more Amber Eras. I can wait. I'll wait for humans to let their guard down. I'll wait till the Matrix drawn over fictional guarding collapses. Time and opportunity will always be on my side. Okay. Already forgetting me? Helio by are faced with only a single punishment. Eternal imprisonment. They can lock me up, but they can't kill me. Yeah. Kid. As a spirit fair, he's already experienced more than you could in a lifetime. For as long as I'm sealed in the Matrix, I will inhabit this body. The judges can stick as many talismans and pour as much enchanted water on this flesh as they'd like. I don't care. As long as they want to save their own, I still have a bargaining chip. We will meet again. I wasn't the only Heliobus to escape when the creation furnace was destroyed. There are more of us than the mere few in Fixtral Garden. Where are they now? Hmm. And what will they do to the Lofu? Oh, I look shoot. forward to seeing how the Ten Lords Commission responds in the coming days. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta go back. We gotta talk to you, Tsingla. Little Gwei kinda gave me an outline of what happened in the apothecary. Can you tell me more? Yeah. Thanks for telling me everything. I didn't think things would get so out of hand. I would have been able to help you if I were there too. And maybe Little Gwei wouldn't have ended up in the apothecary. You don't need to worry about little Gwei. She won't be able to sit still even in a sick ward. I'm sure she'll come find you again in no time. I'm heading to the apothecary to check up on her. Catch you later. Oh, okay. That it? Alright, I guess I'll end this one. Alright, I'll see you guys again.